Drum roll, please. here of which I'm going to do a uh, old faux finish lettering job on it complete with a little uh, pictorial it's gonna look really cute I'm not gonna do it right right now though because I have to go on and do another job this guy he just showed up but I'm gonna do it tomorrow and I'm gonna do a little video of it and there you go all right off I go and Well, as you can see, I got a great deal of this already going here because uh, I had to get moving on it. But um, I'm doing this just like I did all the other ones where I take the one-shot lettering enamel and I put a bit of the one-shot acrylic, not acrylic, is it acrylic? I take the one shot lettering enamel and I kind of, whoa! Oh, the can was open, yuck! Darn it, it's kind of full, I spilled. Ooh, gosh, okay. <laughs> I put some of this in there. It's like maybe, um, maybe uh, three quarters of this and then maybe even less than a quarter of the one shot lettering enamel with some of that whiting to make the paint dry flat. Oh God, it's all on my hand. I gotta wash my, okay. I gotta wash my hand after I do this. But um, what I'm gonna do now is, I got a little old lettering quill here and I'm gonna start the, um, where it says garage on the bottom, but I'm up too high. I gotta get a little bit lower. Okay, let's sit on the floor. Oh, yeah. ah, that's better. For some reason, whenever I letter, I like the work to be right at my eye level. So like I said, this paint is very um, thin down, so it really shows the strokes coming through. So as you can see, uh, over the red, I have like a very washy uh, white on top of the red. It's very transparent and that's good because you want it to look like it's old. And then on top of that, I come back with this white. It's a little more hard white. And I kind of mimic the old brush strokes. And you want the brush strokes just to look like the brush strokes of a person that actually hand lettered it. Okay, so now I have pops all roughed in with a brush. As you can see, it's pretty rough. It's not, uh, there's no smooth strokes. It's pretty quick and fast. And now I'm going to come back and do the little black outline on him here and there and bring out his features. Okay, so we just about got this guy done. And you know, now that I look at him, it, it's not popping. It needs a little more. So what I'm going to do is add a pin line around here and a pin line around this outline as well, just to make it pop a little bit, because it just it just needs it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I know that you know what I mean. Well, I'm just about done with pops here, and you know, um, I got some areas that came out a little bit shiny, and I think it's because I put so many layers of paint on top of it. So what I'm gonna do is go over it with a little uh, 600 grit sandpaper, just a tad just to knock the shine off it a bit, just on the painted area. I'm not gonna hit the guy's car, but I'm just gonna knock the shine off it a tad. So I don't want any shiny spots. No shine. The shine is the kind of giveaway. I'm just gonna be real nice. Okay, so as you can see, we're all done with the uh, full finish lettering job. Came out really nice. And um, let me tell you a little secret. Don't tell anybody. This color and this color were used on a previous job. Um, it was a wall job, and so I had some leftover paint, which were the perfect colors. In fact, uh, if you stick around a little longer, I'll uh, show you this job. So here's the other job I did this stuff with. All right, check it out. Yeah. <laughs>